Today we are being bombarded with shiny controllers, Instagram ads, and the next big thing that will make you sound like a pro. Spoiler, it doesn't exist. There's no magical thing that will make you sound like a pro. It takes time and work to have something that sounds good. I even think that you don't need all of these fancy equipments to make good music. And you actually can make decent and professional music with just a few items. Anyway, I'm Dean Bolt and I've been releasing drum and bass for two years now and I'm very happy with the labels that I've released with. But the fun fact about all of these tracks that I've made and released is that I've made them with just a laptop and the setup I'm going to show you today. Let me explain. If you follow me on Instagram, you might have noticed that I'm quite a nomad. Not the kind that would stay in a van and travel 24-7, but more the I like this country and I would like to spend 3-6 months in it. To be able to travel like that, I've been working as a freelance graphic designer and that allowed me to pay for rent, food and travel. In the past years, I've been living in La Réunion in Thailand and in Budapest in Hungary. And now I just moved in South Korea for a year. But to travel like this, it's better to be light and take only with you just the strict necessary. After Covid in 2020, me and my girlfriend decided to sell all of our stuff to make our life fit into one bag. Well, two bags actually. In these bags, I have clothes, electronics and everything I need to survive pretty much forever. But to make everything fit into one bag, this has forced me to think about the minimum I need to make music. To think about this, I tried to check if I use that thing regularly. So that's just one rule that I can give you just straight away. If you don't use it regularly, just get rid of it. It just takes space physically on your desk and it also takes space mentally because every time you see that item, you're gonna think, oh, I spent a lot of money in it, now I gotta use it. I kinda feel guilty about it. Trust me, I've been there. So the first thing that I would advise you to do is to think about everything you need to make music and think, have I used that regularly? Have I used that in tracks? If you don't use it regularly, I'd say that you can get rid of it. It will save you some physical space and also some mental space. Before I'm going to show you my actual setup, feel free to subscribe to the channel and like the video so I know I can make more videos like this. So I just arrived in Korea and this is pretty much all of my setup here. So first I have a good laptop. I use it all day to work so I needed a good screen. But it can also carry some heavy projects on Fruity Loops. It definitely has some limitation. For example, it's pretty little um then i have some headphones i use the dt 777 770 Pro since one year now. It's honestly amazing. It takes some time to get used to the brightness, but you can clearly work on those high ends with precision. Paired with that, I have the Sonarworks Reference 4. This allows me to flatten the sound of my headphones. This is definitely optional, especially if you're starting out, but it comes handy when you're trying to be precise with your mix downs. Then I have an Arturia Microlab. It's not the smallest keyboard, but I like the fact that you can roll the cable around and it has some protection on the corner, so it's a real plus when you need to chug it in to a bag. Also, it's French, so yeah! And last but not least, I have an ergonomic setup that I've composed over the years with a vertical mouse, an ergonomic mousepad, a Bluetooth keyboard, and a stand. I know this is not the sexiest part, but trust me, it's the most important part. This allows me to stay long hours without compromising my health in front of a screen, and that's a real bonus when you need to work on one snare for like two hours. And it's always good to be healthy, you know. And I think that's it. I also have some cables and chargers, but that's pretty much all the gear I have. I think it's all you need really to make some music. So now you're probably wondering, is it enough? Won't it block your creativity? I think it's all the opposite. There is a concept called creative limitation that says if you limit yourself, you can actually increase your creativity. It means that if you just restrict yourself with just a few items, you're gonna work with them more. That way you exactly know what you're doing with them. That's also why I've regularly make some challenges like make music in 10 minutes in one hour or make music with just Fruity Loop uh, stock plugins. By the way, if you want me to make one of these challenges in video, let me know in the comments. And I think when you limit yourself with the tools you have, you are not getting lost in an endless loop of searching for new sounds, searching for new plugins and stuff. You just compose with what you have and you go way faster so the creativity comes along. So in the end, you know your tools better, you know how to use them better and you make better music. 
Of course, if I had more space, I would definitely buy some more stuff, especially some monitors, because right now I'm mixing everything by headphones. In the past, I've just bought some monitors and sold them once I move out, so it allows me to uh, have some monitors. And I think I can rent some studio to hear my tracks in a proper setup. But at the same time, if you are not used to your environment, if you are not used to the gear you use, you're probably gonna take some bad decisions. But for now, I'm pretty happy with what I have. And yeah, I could continue with that with a few years. So that's it for this video. I hope that maybe it will inspire some of you to think that you have enough gear, enough stuff to make some good music, and maybe you make a banger with what you already have. And if you want some news about my music, I'm also wrapping up my first EP that will be released this summer, but more on that very very soon. You can also check out my latest track, The Ascent, out now on IT. I'm really blown away by the response that I've had to it, so thank you very much, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.